all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Mama, in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap, when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter that I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came and he whistled and he shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came at the bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work, and he filled all the stockings. Then he turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. You guys know this part, right? What do we say? Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs> You'll be able to help me read this next year. Anyway, even though it's not dark, but I figure that way you guys won't have to stand around in the cold. There's a couple of things I wanted to do though. First of all, I wanted to introduce you to Miss Oswatomi Larissa Harrison. She is our queen. Let's give her a hand. 
She helped with the gifts today, and she's helped with several things like our parade. Uh, there's a few people that we really need to thank. First of all, Terry Otten, with the help of Alex Castillo, are the ones that provided the tree for us. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> But to tell you the truth, the real idea on the tree and bringing that back was really our own Sheila Wright and Don Cobby. So let's give them a hand too. I think it's a beautiful tradition to bring back in. The other thing I wanted to do, some of you noticed that I've taken a few pictures as the crews were lighting things and putting decorations up. And I think I'd really be remiss if I didn't at least acknowledge them. Excuse me, I'm going to read their names because I didn't want to forget anybody. But let's start with that uh, electric crew. That's it, Terry Upshaw, Ron Taylor, Tommy Callahan, Brian Mersmer. Also, a special thank you to Pee Wee for singing the carols yesterday while decorating. <laughs> you know, along with that, through our, we had Johnny Rail that was out here helping. And somebody that's new that you may not or may know He's our new public works director, Blake Matt. Matt? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Blake Matt. And he's been a big, big help in so many ways. You'll start seeing the differences in the very near future, I'm sure. Oh, and I almost forgot. Helping to decorate this tree was Blake and Dixie. Dixie is right there. Thank you, Dixie. I think uh, I think uh, that covers probably everyone. As you all know, Don Cobby is our city manager, and he really helps keep things together. I think we're heading a good, positive direction. And I think now uh, we're going to count down from 10. And Larissa is going to flip the switch right here. All right? And we'll light that tree. Ready, guys? He's got the breaker. Okay. All right. Okay. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah. Ten. Eight. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Light Thank you all and have very, very good holidays. Have a merry, merry Christmas. You know, that's true too. We need to thank the merchants. And the